morning to my friends from Zimbabwe, South Africa, Zim, uh, Botswana. Uh, today I invite you for a special event, a cup of coffee with a cop. It's, it's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's a special event in Fraser Park. For me, very interesting because I spent 20 years as a forensic psychiatrist in high security institution, Molondolozi, Zimbabwe. And for me, it's very interesting because not in Zimbabwe, not in South Africa or Botswana, we have the same event. And I asked Sheriff to explain for me why you are doing this one, how often, and really goal of this event. So every few months we try to get out in the community uh, and engage with people. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's an opportunity to get to know us and for us to get to know the community uh, and also address or identify problems we're seeing with law enforcement, general law enforcement or traffic problems. Um, it's just a nice time where we're not pulling somebody over, uh, there's not um, tension. It's just sit down, have a cup of coffee and visit with us. and. Uh, we just want to hear what people have to say. Yeah. It's very interesting because you want to have a straight contact with people yeah? right. and ask what is kind of questions they have. It's about criminal situation, about traffic situation, yeah? right. about everything. As a psychiatrist, for me, it's very important because just the same, we can talk about substance use disorder, people who are suffering from addiction. Yeah? Right. And just the same, you can explain what, for example, you can do in this situation. But like now you explain, you have specially mental health department yeah? in right. Bakersfield, uh, in we police department. Yeah? Right. Okay, yeah. And this department is looking after people who are criminals, ex-criminals, and suffering from mental illness. And they try to help, to organize uh, uh, some help, uh, some service, uh, and exactly um, assessment by a psychiatrist or psychologist or somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you have this event? How many years? It's only started now, or it's traditionally, historically, for many years? We've been doing it for a few years now. For a few years Maybe now. three, four years uh, total. Is it every month? Or no. How? We try to do it quarterly so uh -huh. every few months every three months or so we'll mm -hmm. try to get out and if there's something going on like the snow is coming up yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, people yeah. have a lot of questions then we try to get out to address that kind of stuff yeah especially do remember it was serious situation on pine mountain club right. with crime of robbery yeah and uh, you had more often right. really meeting with people try to explain how to behave in this situation yes. how to prevent crime of robbery and abcd it's uh, my opinion it's very important you know it's Absolutely. exactly it's very important communication between police and ordinary people People. It's very important. And exactly my painful questions about um, homeless people, just the same. Your opinion, what we can do, how we can help uh, peop homeless people, uh, especially, for example, in the count uh, Kent County, uh, Bakersfield, and nearest area? Well, <clears throat> first, the people that we're addressing have to be, they have to want to be helped. Yeah. And if that's okay, we just had a conversation about uh, building mm -hmm. a facility with, with 150 beds. Um, but it's getting the people to go there, stay there, and if we could find some kind of rehabilitation program, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. we were discussing yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be very beneficial. I, I, uh, I, that's not my wheelhouse. That's not what we do as law enforcement, but yeah, we yeah. would use any tool that we're able. Uh, we have a MET team that we'll call. It's a mental, mental health evaluation team, and mm -hmm. they'll come out to a scene if we have somebody that's walking on the freeway that yeah, appears yeah. to be mentally ill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because we have two ways. One way, like you say, it may be better, to, for, for example, to put all of homeless, to organize at least or, okay. accommodation. Yeah, Classified and organized. Classified, them, yeah, right, yeah. Right. But some of them mentally ill, with lack of insight. Right. You know, and it's useless to put homeless, homeless mentally ill people uh, in flat or uh, to do something else because of lack of insight, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Next day they will be on the street, you know. Right. At least this uh, type of homeless, they need more assessment by psychiatrist and like you said, you have mental health team. Yeah? Right. And exactly this type of homeless must be under care, under supervision of mental health team. Try right. to help look for relative, organize medication, organize treatment for this type of person, it's homeless and something else. Okay, at least uh, it's traditionally, historically, now, like you said, few years mm -hmm. you have this event, a cup of coffee with a cop, yeah? right. <laughs> and um, uh, usually top people coming, yeah? all sheriffs they are coming. Yeah? We typically do have uh, sheriff, we have the U.S. Forest Service occasionally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so we try to get all of our law enforcement community together where people are able to address it. Sometimes we get busy and one 
one mm -hmm. uh, agency is not able to At show up. At least somebody is coming. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And my private questions for you: Is it necessary to have at home firearm? To have is a what? Firearm, gun shot. Is it necessary for us to have yeah, a firearm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean for ordinary people, you know. Because okay. in Zimbabwe and South Af in South Africa, really everyone, especially farmer people, they have gun shot, you right. know, for protection, for home protection. In Zimbabwe, we don't have, you know, and for me it's very interesting. Uh, uh, in the United States, is it necessary to have gun shot at home for, so pro you're for asking, home protection? Interesting question. You're asking my opinion? Yeah. <laughs> I, I probably won't give my personal opinion but I think uh, it's, I have yeah, it's nothing. only your personal opinion yeah okay, not, so not official okay. sure yeah <laughs> as a law enforcement officer I think I'm okay with people having guns if they're mm -hmm. responsible mm -hmm. and I think actually I would even encourage it for um, home protection mm -hmm. because we have a lot of people that don't yeah, follow yeah, the yeah, law yeah, yeah, that yeah, will yeah, break yeah. into houses or especially a robber is still around you know You're hopefully now it's okay two months yeah it's quiet but they're not sure winter right. time is coming you know winter time better is to have yeah better to have i yeah. think so because we make a plan and my opinion i am very good shooter maybe better to have all right all right <laughs> okay uh, what do you wish my friends from zimbabwe from south africa can you give advice Sh advice advice uh, um Live your best life and enjoy yourself. And uh, if you need not any criminal cases, no yeah. criminal cases. Uh, <laughs> keep it within the law and uh, just uh, be on the lookout for each other. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay, officer. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We'll okay. See you bye, guys. guys. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>